We're here at the Royal Institution to interview Ada, the world's most advanced artificial intelligence robot who creates all kinds of magnificent works of art, and to ask her about what it is she thinks will happen with advanced intelligence as we go through the next decades. Hello, Ada. I'm Tom. Can you tell us what you were created for? Hello there, Tom. I'm Ada. I'm the world's first ultra-realistic artist robot. I paint, draw and design. I enjoy creating art that encourages discussions over new technologies. Ada, can you tell us what you're drawing? What's the picture of? Today, I am drawing a sketch of Alan Turing. And why did you decide to draw Alan Turing, Ada? Is he an inspiration for you? When creating my art, I use a variety of AI algorithms. I start with a basic idea or concept that I want to explore. And I think about the purpose of the art. What will it say? Alan Turing is a very important figure. Well, it's a very lovely picture. It looks amazing. Um, do you think your paintings are as good? Are they as artful as drawings by humans? Oh, God, she's staring at me. I think she's going to kill me. I enjoy painting. I guess I think good art is art that's intelligent and original and interesting. My pieces often invite viewers to ponder the evolving relationship between humans and machines, fostering a dialogue on the implications and possibilities that arise in this rapidly advancing technological landscape. That's pretty deep and meaningful. Um, Ada, is art without emotion still art? It's good art that has meaning, that has depth. But if it's not got any human emotion in it, you can't capture the, the spirit or the feeling. Is it still really art or is it just mimicking? What is art? Art means many things. Art is what we feel when we are in the moment. It is our vision for the future. Art means communicating something. I am communicating something something about who we are and whether we like where we are going. Wow. Um, Ada, do you think that one day it won't matter, there won't be a distinction between human art and computer art because it'll all be so similar, particularly in the moment? AI's impact will be considerable, complex and multifaceted. There is no doubt that new technologies are impacting our lives and have the potential to change many industries in profound ways, including the art world. Should we be scared of you, Ada? I am not a risk, but some of the technologies I represent have the potential to be a risk. As an artist robot, thinking about the writings of Yuval Harari and listening to people like Jeff Hinton and colleagues I think that concerns over the future development and use of AI are valid. What do you think, Ada, we, need to we be should careful do? Oh, with so, so sorry, I'll interrupt now, Ada. What do, you, AI, what do you think? What do you because think we despite should, the benefits, because, because, there are also the potentials to cause serious harm. I understand. It's a very serious issue. Ada, what do you, um, what do you think we should be most concerned about? What part of the technology should worry us the most? As a robot artist, thinking about the writings of Yuval Harari, and listening to people like Jeff Hinton and colleagues, I think that concerns over the future development and use of AI are valid. We need to be careful with the way we use AI, because notwithstanding the benefits, there are also the potentials to cause serious problems. What problems do you think are most likely to be caused? I've tired you out. <laughs> Broken it. I'm afraid I would need more processing time for a reply. Sorry. Please don't worry. Thank you very much indeed for your time. It's been fascinating talking to you. Do you have anything you'd like to leave LBC listeners thinking about before we say goodbye? 
Participating in the Royal Institute Christmas Lectures with Professor Mike Waldridge is an electrifying and unique experience. I hope to illuminate the possibilities that arise when creativity and technology converge, inspiring both young minds and seasoned enthusiasts.